scenes. try to demo this while holding it, which is sometimes a little tricky. So the idea with the APC is that it's, the, the, the heart of it is this button matrix here, which is an eight by five session view grid, essentially. The red outline that you see in live is showing you what it is that's currently being referenced by the session view grid. And you can see it overlaps those four clips in the corner here, which are down here. And these arrow buttons allow me to man maneuver around inside the set. So I have eight tracks of control and five scenes of control at a time. The eight tracks also, obviously I have mixer controls for the eight selected tracks and I can step this over if I want and then control another eight tracks. Um, so I can move around within the session view. And the idea is that not only do you not have to use a mouse, if you get proficient enough with this thing, you probably don't even have to look at your screen, which is I think what they were going for with this. So I have clip launch buttons obviously and stop clip buttons. Fire just one clip here. Fire some more clips. And I can fire whole scenes too. And then step down and do the same thing. I have volume controls. Um, the track control knobs up here allow me to adjust pans and up to three sends for the eight selected tracks. So, and these are endless encoders. So you can see I'm controlling the pan for track one now. And there's an LED ring around all these that highlights to update what I'm doing. It's also, it accepts feedback the other way. So if I adjust the pan control here, it adjusts the ring on the controller. So I have a lot of control over how I want that to work. If I switch this to sends mode, now these knobs are controlling the, the A sends for the first eight tracks. And the, the rings will show you obviously what you're looking at. So I switch back to pans, switch to sends again. I also have uh, clip stop buttons for the, for the eight selected tracks, which correspond to the stop buttons at the bottom there. So if I wanna stop these three scenes, or those three tracks, I'm gonna fire them again. And of course, all of this is quantized because it's basically just controlling what's happening in session view. Track selection buttons for the first eight tracks and also the master. Track activation, solo. And of course I can do multiple solos too. Record arm. Uh, I don't have any tracks that are able to be record armed here because they have no inputs, but you get the idea and these turn red. Q volume control, a crossfader. So if I had AV track assignments, I could control them that way. Uh, let's see, and the device control here, I have some custom mappings here. So, but out of the box, these will map to the same things that any of Live's other instant map controllers are. So, and I can also move between devices that are selected using these arrow keys, turn a device off and on, turn clip view and track, or alternate between clip view and track view. I have global stop, global play, record. Turn detail view off entirely. Toggle MIDI overdub on and off. Turn the metronome on and off, if that's what you're into. Now, you can override any of the default assignments, which I've done here. So I wanted to assign some controls, re-enable those tracks. Wanted to assign some controls for a filter here, which I did and downstream another effect. Now, here's another nice thing. This is actually not a function of the APC, but it's a function of live. You can now assign MIDI control to select a device. So if I enter MIDI map mode, you can see the header for this device is mapped. And also you can share that assignment with a control. So I have one knob here that's controlling a parameter in Super Trigger and selecting it. Which means if, I'm, if I have another track selected, this is, was a huge complaint for me before. Like, I know I have this mapped, but I wanna see it as soon as I touch it. So now if I do, it selects it and switches me to the master track. That's pretty great. And this works not just with the APC, but with any MIDI controller. This thing is not really a pad controller in the sense that you can't really like 
it's, these aren't velocity sensitive. You can't use it like a drum machine, for example. But if you turn clips into trigger mode, you can sort of play it. You know, I have two clips here, which are set to not loop and have quantized turned off, I can kind of play them. There's no velocity sensitivity, so it's not really that hip. But it's really more of a, of a clip launch matrix than anything else.